Jackie Thomas. A man is behind bars tonight in Mobile after he attacked two people with a claw hammer. It's a story we broke on News 5 at 10 o'clock last night. News 5's Emily DeVoe continues the story with what happens next. Jimmy, you knew these people. Why, why would you do something like this? I don't understand why I did it either. I want to find out though. Jimmy Erickson says he doesn't remember attacking anyone with a claw hammer. He could have killed me if Denny hadn't have been there. He would have killed me. But his victims will never forget it. Next thing I knew, I was getting up off the floor, and that's when I walked over there by the front door and seen Nancy laying there. And to be honest with you, I thought she was dead. Blood was coming everywhere, and I told Denny, it's bad, it's bad. Call 911, we got to call 911. And I laid down on the floor till they got there. The attack happened at Key West Lounge in the early morning hours Wednesday when bartender Nancy Gibson was closing up with a friend. And I said, it's just Jimmy. So sure enough, he came in through the back. We had our backs to him and uh, we were sitting there laughing and talking. Erickson was a regular there and knew both of his victims well. I'm not going to say no more. I, I can't understand that she's like one of my best friends. I can't understand why I've done that. Gibson has a bleed in her brain, hundreds of stitches and staples in her head. She wants Erickson charged with attempted murder, but he's not. At this time, we find uh, facts to prove that assault first degree and assault second degree would fit this particular uh, crime. Both are serious charges that could keep Erickson behind bars for years if convicted. As for why he did it, Erickson admits he was probably high on drugs. Were you on drugs? What went on? Um, appears that I was, yes. One of the things that probably didn't add up with this story for many of you is why it took nearly a week for Erickson to be arrested. He told us that even though he doesn't remember much from that night, he did check himself into a hospital for treatment. Police say they didn't feel like they needed to have an officer in the hospital room while they waited for him to be discharged because he felt he wasn't a threat to anyone else at that time. But as soon as he was released this morning, he was arrested. At this point, he's still behind bars awaiting a bond hearing on Thursday. Live in the newsroom, Emily DeVoe, News 5. It's another case that